In today's video, I want to take a look at the new business snapshot in Zero. It's at the pilot stage right now, which is June 2020. But what I want to do is take a first look with you and explain what you can find on the new Zero business snapshot. We're on the Zero dashboard and if we choose business, there is a new option that's called business snapshot. That's what we want to take a look at in this video. Although it's under the business menu, I actually would have preferred it to be under the accounting menu. You do need to have a bit of understanding before you can make sense of the business snapshot. That's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to take have a first look at the business snapshot and I'm going to explain it and it will be helpful if you don't have accounting knowledge. So let's select it and let's take a first look. It says pilot because it is quite new and it's in the pilot stage. This is June 2020. I expect that it will change in future, but let's look at it as it is today. Just to let you know, if you go over to the top right, you have a nice option to print this. And it's actually a nice looking report. It's actually got some colours and some charts on it. I'm going to cancel that and we're going to take a look at it. First of all, we're going to look at the date range. You've got your business name here and the default date range is the previous financial year. If we go to the drop down, we can change that. So we can choose last month last quarter, last financial year or year to date. I'm going to select last month. I don't need to do update and you'll see you have to wait a little bit but you can see that it changes here. So it now says for the month ended May 31, 2020. The first section is all about your profit and loss account. Profitability and you can see the month of May that we've selected has got a solid line and then the comparison is the month before with a dotted line. I'm going to change that. I'm going to choose last quarter and you'll see that that changed and you can now see that the solid line is January to March and the comparison, the dotted line is October to December. To make sense of this report, I'm also going to look at a profit and loss account. Okay, so what I've done in zero. I've gone into the old style profit and loss account. I'm quite happy with that. I've chosen the same quarter. I've said I want to report to the month of March for three months and I want to compare it to the previous period. And that just lets us look up where the information comes from for your business snapshot. You can't drill down on the business snapshot. You can't see what the figures are made up of. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip into the profit and loss account so that you can see what's happening. So the first figure on here is the profit for the period. So for January to March, the profit was 1116. And it also tells you how that compares to the quarter before. And you can see there's green, green means good, and an arrow up. So that means there's an improvement from the quarter before. This shows you the current quarter, the 1116, and this shows you the quarter before. Now the quarter before is a loss. I'm not gonna to be too concerned about that because I'm in a demo company and I've been playing around with some numbers, so it's not necessarily something to worry about. If it was your own business, I think you would feel a bit differently. If we head into a profit and loss account, we can see where this figure comes from. The bottom, net profit, 1116, and there's the loss of 4,000 the quarter before. Okay, let's look at what else we have here. If we go over to the right, it shows us the income figure. So the income for the quarter is here, and it tells you the increase or the movement from the quarter before. We know that the solid line is this quarter, so we can see January, February, and March figures is the solid line and the quarter before the dotted line. So we can see that January, the current quarter is a thousand, which is this purple dot here, and October is the gray dot against the dotted line. Again, we can't drill down into these figures, but if we flip into the profit and loss account, there we can see the 4679 compared to the 2083 for the quarter before. 
So your sales have gone from 2083 to 4679, which is where the 124% increase figure comes from. Then we have expenses for the quarter, 3563, total expenses. And green means good news. This means that the expenses have dropped from the quarter before. Cost of goods sold is zero and operating expenses. So the total expense is operating expenses, 3563. Again, solid line is the current quarter with the figures and the dotted line is the quarter before. So we can see the high expenditure in December 2019 at 6,200. Let's look at the profit and loss. And here again, we can see the 3,563 and then higher expenditure the quarter before. Okay, heading back, what do we have next? We now have a section, I'm going to go to the right here, of the largest operating expenses. Now what I want you to bear in mind is these are the largest operating expenses for the current quarter. So the five largest expenses are shown here. So first we have corporation tax, which I wouldn't call an operating expense, but that's how zero classifies it. Red means bad news. So red means that this has increased from the quarter before. And that's no surprise because as we've already said, corporation tax mainly would only be input at year end. Then we have rent and this dash here means it hasn't changed. So the rent figure is the same to what it was the quarter before. This expenditure, light, power and heating, red is bad news so it means it has increased and you can see it was less the quarter before. General expenses, green is good news, it's dropped. So you see the quarter before, 120, this quarter, 103. The final expense on the list, audit and accountancy, it's bad news, which is in red, it's increased because it was nothing before. As I've said, it's the largest operating expenses for the current quarter. And just to highlight that, if we go into the profit and loss account, when we look at the quarter before, we can see there was a big expense for advertising and marketing. And just to make you aware, that won't appear because it's only looking at the largest expenses in the current period, the period that you're reporting on. If we head over to the left here, gross profit margin. If you have a gross profit in your business, it will show you how it compares again to the quarter before. All our expenditures operate in expenses, so there's no gross profit percentage to worry about. That's why it's 100%. Okay, let's draw a line under here because that's the profit and loss figures. Now we move to the balance sheet, the financial position of the business. On this part of the report, there isn't a comparison. It's just reporting at the date we've selected, which was the last quarter, the 31st of March. So we look at the balance sheet. It tells us what our assets are, what our liabilities are, and what the equity in the business. Again, I have run a report so that we can look at that. So here's the balance sheet, 31st of March. Here we can see our assets total, 12537, and that's the figure there. Here's the liabilities figure, 13572 which means that the equity in the business is minus 1035. As I've said, it's a demo company, so I'm not too concerned about these figures. Then it shows us what the cash position is. At the 31st of March, cash is 10703. If we go to the balance sheet, we go to the assets, to the bank, we can see there's only one bank account, and it's 10703. Then at the right-hand side, we just look at the time taken to get paid from your customers and the time taken to pay your suppliers. Again, because it's demo data, this is not very meaningful. There's not much in there. There's only outstanding receivables of 250. Average time to pay suppliers, there's clearly not information in there to give us a figure. Just to mention, if we make changes in Zero and we want to update this, if I refresh my screen, it goes back to the default date. So if I wanted the last quarter again, I would need to change it. Okay, let's take a quick look at if we choose the last month instead of the last quarter. So now we look at the month of May and the comparison is April. So you can see the profit figure 
in May and the comparison to April, you can see the income and because it's a month, now you see it daily. So you could look through from day one to day 31 in May, showing the figures, the solid line for the current month and the dotted line for the month before. The same on expenses. Now we do have a gross profit margin and that's because we have a cost of goods sold figure in here. So it's telling us that the gross profit margin is 92% for the month. And that's lower than it was the month before. Again, not very meaningful on the demo company. Your five largest expenses, have they gone up? It will show in red, dropped, it will show in green. If they haven't changed, you'll have a dash against them. Balance sheet figures, no comparison, but on the date we've chosen, 31st of May, assets, liabilities and equity with the chart showing how it's made up. The cash balance, two bank accounts showing both of them and then the average time to get paid and the average time to pay customers and suppliers. And I've said if you want to print the report, you can choose the print option. And here we are saving it as a PDF. I'm just going to cancel. That is in zero, the new business snapshot. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.